Today was one of the best days that I had in Cusco personally so far. We did a very big hike connecting a lot of cool ruins and waterfalls. So first off we started at Zona X. It is such a beautiful and underrated site. There are so many tunnels. There are even some rumors that say that some of the tunnels go all the way to Machu Picchu, which of course is like halfway believable. And with our luck we actually stumbled upon a guide who showed us more of the tunnels. We're going right now in a really long tunnel. It's very dark. And we have no idea how long it's been there. I'm a bit claustrophobic, so the tunnels were really tight and I really got my adrenaline rush running. We were supposed to go through that hole. <laughs> And it's quite a scramble to get up yeah. there as well. We didn't make it out of that hole and it was so fun. It's it's It was the most fun I've had. I was like on a cloud nine. After Zona X, our next stop is Balcon del Diablo. It took us a while to find it because we were a bit lost. We finally made it and it's a huge immense rock of about 50 meters um, with some uh, Incan structures on top. It looks like a big cave and you can actually also go into it. And as the name suggests, there's also a balcony there that you can have a look down onto the cave entrance, which is quite spectacular. But then we walked all the way to Temple of the Moon and it's considered a sacred and mystical place for the Incas. It was really pretty and there are also two actual caves in there, but we have no access to it. By this time it was already getting a bit late, so we had to hurry up to get to our next spot, which is a small hidden waterfall. The waterfall itself is not very big, but the cool part is that you can have a look at it through a small cave if you climb down to the river level. By that time we had some darker clouds chasing us, not just the sunset, and we had this amazing bridge that we had to cross, but of course we didn't do it because we found a different different way to cross it but then we made it to our final site which is Inkiltambo. Inkiltambo means something along the lines of flowery garden. It is an Incan huaca that worship water belonging to the famous archaeological park of Asakse woman. It has different enclosures, terraces, water channels, stone stairs and also a lot of temples. The best thing about this is just that it was completely empty it was situated in a really pretty valley and it's also completely free the entrance. You have this beautiful site all to yourself. Then it was already time to say goodbye to our beautiful hike and to this, all these sites and go back to Cusco. It was getting late, this time for real, and we were running back home. We couldn't get an Uber directly at the site so we had to hike down a bit to the main road to get an Uber. Then we got lucky and we had to go get some really nice food. If you're interested in doing the same hike and seeing some of these off the beaten path spots, just tell me in the comments and I can share the details with you.